Okie dokie. So, I know some of you guys are asking about uh, vector landing. And while I'm not the world's foremost expert on it, I can share with you what I know on it. First thing I would recommend doing is go into your settings. In its very first tab, game settings, scroll down until you see pilot velocity indicator or your vector. Um, default is on fading. I recommend highly leaving that on always on because that is handy for everything, in my opinion. Okay, so the ship is uh, coupled, landing gear is up. Um, so we're in like a normal flight. Now, most of everybody, especially starting out, uh, when you land, you know, you kind of just come in, you uh, hit your landing gear, and for me, I got sticks, so it's, I can come down fairly smooth, cause I, but if you're on a hat, you know, so this is sticks. That's okay, you know, that's not bad, cause I, I can, Pull it down just a little bit a little hard right and sometimes it's hard to gauge and then if you're on mouse and keyboard right so then you usually see when you see people come in they're kind of doing this number you see them kind of coming down it's you kind of tell when they're on mouse so they make these full power thrusts up and down you can see it's kind of it's not real smooth it's not terrible, but it could be better. So, uh, vector landing is exactly what it says. You're gonna land where your vector is. And since we have our little Chevron always on, wherever you move it, that's where you're gonna go. All right, so now just to show you the difference, landing gear, let me pull my landing gear back up. Cause what it is, the, or I guess we'll say the ship's computer activates vector landing when landing gear is down and decoupled is activated. And then that's when vector landing uh, is possible. So with landing gear up and we're in gravity, right? We're on a planet. If I just decouple, you see how the vector just drops because gravity's pulling us straight down. It's pulling us down. We're not staying on target, all right? But now, if we go back to our start point, and I'm just recoupled again, just to get back up here. All right. So what we'll do now is we'll deploy our landing gear. Landing gear. Oh, now, now I'm recoupled. There we go. So now I'm coupled. Landing gear is deployed. So, and we're coupled. But now I want to land. I want to land on that pad, right? That's where I want to land. So, I start going forward. There's my chevron. Decouple. No matter which way I turn my ship, upside down, it don't matter. We're going through that spot, even though we're decoupled. Because the landing gear's down, the computer knows that's where we want to land. And you can pick where you want to land. You can adjust ever so slightly. And you will slow down. In atmosphere, you'll slow down more than if you were on the moon. And it's just, look at that, how you can land just nice and smooth doing it that way. And it lets you do, once you get more comfortable with it, you can do all kind of cool stuff. And then that's where you get into like uh, effective hot drops and stuff like that. So let's say, I'll try not to <laughs> foo bar this because it, it does take practice. Um, so yeah, let's see, landing gears down. I want to vector land here. Okay, I've decoupled. I'm gonna keep going right there. So I can turn around. I can go ahead and open up my gates. And I don't, see I don't know where I'm going, but I haven't really changed that much. I should still land on the pad, even though I'm not looking at it. See? And there we go. I just landed backwards because the vector landing kept me on that same heading. All I did was apply some space brake uh, to start slowing down. And that's pretty much it, guys.